November 8th is a day that is etched in the UWA history book, as it was the first time meeting of then heavyweight champion Joe Anderson and the undefeated rookie CJ. What started as a violent attack after a match then turned into a war. The Reaper and the rookie gave it everything that they had, not backing down from one another despite what the other one threw. But in the end, the writing was on the wall for the Grim Reaper. Spear blocked! It was in this moment that everything changed in the UWA landscape. Shit! No one expected the rookie to beat the Reaper. But miracles can happen. CJ captured the heavyweight title and cemented his legacy in the UWA history books. But fate had yet unveiled its cruel hand. Moments after the match, CJ beat down the referee and continued to assault Joe Anderson. Then, the unthinkable happened. A casket was produced. CJ buried the Grim Reaper. It was something that fans didn't expect. Something that the announcer didn't expect. The management didn't expect. It sent shockwaves through the system and began the reign of terror. Isn't he a looker? Goodness gracious. Hello, everybody. I'm Jake Kemp. I'm the owner of, of, of UWA. I'm going to be taking over this show, Wrath Confidential, because... Since my retirement, I don't have really much to do besides run the show and make make some appearances. But I'm here now. It's been a crazy month since CJ won the heavyweight title on the first wrath. A lot has gone down, and I'm here to tell you about that. You know, who better to tell you than the owner? Ever since he won the heavyweight title, CJ has been causing quite the calamity. There have been attacks that have taken people out of UWA entirely. There have been attacks that have been targeted at our crew. There's even a day where, where we couldn't film because, quite frankly, he was holding one of the crew members hostage. Fortunately, we were able to get him out. It's a different story. Well... I mention all of this because we've launched an official investigation. We've called in, or rather Logan Price called in, a backyard detective. I don't know what that means, but we, we called one in. You know, I just signed the papers. But we're looking into it, and I think everyone will like that. Um, I, the other big piece of, of news, in my opinion, is the arrival of Max, of Max Chaos to UWA. Which a lot of people didn't see happening. Honestly, me, me included. But he's a fantastic wrestler. And I'm honored that I had my last match with him. Because he's just fantastic. But the match that he had against CJ on Wrath 4, that is what UWA is all about. And we're so happy to have him on the team. He's just a great guy. He wants that heavyweight title. You know, who knows what's going to happen. But we have some updates here. Uh, speaking of championships and people that have been taken out, we have, an, we have two updates here on two injured competitors, one of which is former heavyweight champion Joe Anderson. We have received positive... You know, word from his fiance. We keep in contact with her because, honestly, he's been a, kind of a mental wreck ever since losing to CJ and being humiliated. He's kind of been afraid to set foot in the underground arena because he didn't know if he could be the man that he was. But we're, he's showing great signs of, you know, rega like regaining his mental health, 
In fact, she said he could be back at any time. So watch out for that. And the and the other update is honestly one of my best friends, Buzzsaw Billy. Buzzsaw Billy was taken out by CJ a number of months ago with a head-related injury. But the good news is he's making a full recovery, and he too should be pat should be back anytime soon. Which to me is quite you know it's why it's just it's just so good to hear. The emotion in my voice is evident. The landscape is really looking up. You have CJ, Anderson, Buzzsaw, Chaos, and much more that you don't know about yet. So just stay tuned for that. Uh, it's more laid back, I would say, than most of the other shows. Oh, yes. Um, I'm going to announce the date for Hell Frozen Over. Which also coincides with, I guess, the Christmas, because we're not going to film for Christmas. But the date for Hell Frozen Over is January 9th. That it will go live January 9th. And who knows what you could see on that card. It's, it's yet to be announced. Maybe you'll see it later. We are also going to announce the big event schedule for 2022 very soon. Uh, I think you'll all enjoy it. I think it'll be very nice. Um, I have an, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, I'm, I'm being told right now that apparently there's been an incident. I'm being told that apparently someone has tried to break into the arena. because we have security there that guards and apparently it was a heavy set individual tried to try to break into the arena a couple of moments ago I got notified um it's funny because it was a, a it was a heavier set guy that also tried to attack ET and JD Mercer in Virginia maybe that's all add up I'm not sure I, I don't mean to break anything to just say this I feel like the fans should know because that could cause some damage. Um, hmm. That's actually kind of concerning. I might need to go. I might need to go take care of that and take a look at it in a few. But um, I guess the last big piece of news that we have for you is well, we we I wouldn't really call this news more as we want to all say thank you to all the fans. You know I know. You know, a lot of things have been crazy lately. A lot of things have been escalating. You've seen people come in. You've seen people leave. But to the ones that, that have stuck with us all the way through, to our supporters, our fans, our family, we thank you so much. You are the reason that we keep going and keep doing this. It's not easy to, to produce the shows, but we still do it solely because you, the fans, enjoy it. And it means a lot to us. Now... That being said, uh, Wrath will pick up back on schedule next week. And believe me, you do not want to miss Wrath next week. Well, without without anything else, I guess, uh, I'm Jake Kempf. This has been UWA Confidential. This has been Wrath Confidential. It's an experiment. We're going to see how this works. If you don't like it, it's okay. We won't do it again. Just, I mean, we needed some time. Honestly, I mean, we kind of needed some time to let Chaos and CJ heal. They had some injuries. And you know, we want to give you a show. We don't want to disappoint you. They're doing fine. They'll be, be back next, next week. Until then, we'll see you then. God bless. Have a good night.